we're going to stretch ourselves in spirit right and, and what i mean by that is typically our template for prayer you know we kind of break intermittently but why we try to minimize that during the session is so that we can truly like allow our spirits to thrive in the moment so that's what this session is going to be about so for the first portion of it i want us to just speak pray in the holy spirit okay some of us have just joined some of us are you know we are transitioning from the teaching so let's just open our spirits up to what god has for us in this session um it's not going to be a, a complicated one god has the lord has given us a direction for this session so i want us to just open our hearts open our spirits so we do that by, by praying in the holy ghost praying in our prayer language and just doing that so that when the word of god comes we can actually be truly in tune i want to encourage everyone um before we even start if you can find somewhere to just um pray like if you can find a quiet place to pray if you can find somewhere where you will not be distracted where you will not be disturbed i know some of us are at work so that's uh, that's understandable but even at that you know if you are able to because lord wants to address even some things in this amount of session and um i would really really encourage you to take the time to actually join in and mount up together because there's a place the Lord wants us to go and it's going to require focus and attention. So right now, as we um, start you know, d- dive into this session. Let's just begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We open ourselves up to you today. Have your way in this place. Father, we thank you for this time that we get to spend together. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you're about to do in our midst. We make room for you, Holy Spirit. 
we lay aside everything every distraction every weight and we want to focus our hearts our minds our spirits on just you so that you can fill us up with the requisite virtue glory power with more measures of you even in this hour we invite you into this place we welcome you in Jesus name amen amen um again thank you for those just joining this is the mount up session um i want to just this you know as holy spirit has revealed to me the emphasis for today and it, it was a very powerful revelation that i received overnight so um as usual <laughs> as in our king's arrow um what would i call it custom i had a dream and um in this dream i saw this person this individual being brutalized i mean the best way i can describe it is domestic violence right and what i understood that to mean was this is this the thing that is brutalizing you is something that you have come you have become familiar with it's something that you are close to and so it's almost as if it's like a normal thing and this person just kept being brutalized not even trying to fight back was just had just re- had like come to the agreement that this thing was more powerful than them and so they just were taking the beatings bass both this that every every moment of the day but then suddenly something happened within this person that was being brutalized they came into an awareness of who they were literally the person was like ah ah do you know who i am that you are doing this to me do you know what i carry and right there and then the person stood up and dealt heavily with the oppressor heavily it was a merciless situation the the strength was there what they needed the ability to fight was there but what was missing the disconnect was the awareness of who they were was the awareness of what they were carrying and so when i woke up from that dream i was i mean it was a very intense one i, I was like whoa and the spirit of god just began to pour this out to me and saying this is the emphasis this is where a lot of people are missing it there is such a disconnect between their head knowledge and their consciousness let me put it that way there is a consciousness that we need to carry as people of god and when we do not walk in the consciousness of what we already know okay this is not a situation where you are going into an exam and you didn't read and you're like holy spirit remind me and holy spirit there's, says there's nothing to remind you did not read but in this case we are filled with the word of god we actually we can even regurgitate these sentences to another person we can use those words the scriptures that we know to um strengthen others but in our own lives the reality is that we are being brutalized by things that we've come becomes we are used to being brutalized basically right and so we're just there taking all the kicks and all the blows and you know it's it's one thing after another every day every every month is like another issue and holy spirit is saying there is a consciousness that you need to carry right now in this hour and only the spirit of god can bring you to the point of that consciousness see two things one the scripture says my people perish for lack of knowledge i believe that scripture it goes beyond oh you know something that knowledge is like a it is a consciousness my people are perishing because they they do not walk in the knowledge that they know they do not you know what i'm saying like the, 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 these laws have always existed right but are you walking in that consciousness the promises of god have always existed and not even just that the the strength and the power that you carry week in week out we come and mount up we pray in our on our personal altars we do all of these different ceremonies and yet we are being brutalized why because we're not carrying this consciousness so right now this is the emphasis of this mount up session this is the emphasis and what we're going to do and how we're going to pray is you know holy spirit bring me into the awareness of who i am of what i am carrying and as we pray in the holy ghost what one thing he will do he will cleanse out a few things will happen he will cleanse our mind cleanse our soul he will bring to our remembrance key scriptures key things that we already know in our head and things that we can use to overcome that thing that is oppressing us 
a variety of things can happen i'm not going to set a template but one thing is for sure we need the help of the holy spirit to bring us to that place to bring us to that place where we rise above that situation and we stand up like this individual i saw in my dream and say no enough is enough do you know who i am do you know what i carry so i don't know who is ready to <laughs> give back what the enemy has been dishing out to us so far as for me i am i'm praying this prayer for myself i'm not praying it for anybody else so i hope we will all come off mute and actually take these prayers and i mean that not to say you know not to, to to talk anybody down if you're not able to unmute or whatever but i just want you to know that there's something collective that is happening on this altar today as we mount up in this regard and we're going to stretch we're going to stretch ourselves we're going to stretch ourselves lean in think of those situations that have been brutalizing you and lean in and, and say holy spirit come and wash me with your word come and bring me to that consciousness that awareness that i need to truly mount up above this situation to truly break free to truly rise above and sit in my rightful place not where the enemy has told me to sit if you're ready to take hold of this consciousness to walk in this new light let's come off mute and begin to pray in the holy spirit because the spirit of god is doing a quick and powerful work in our midst today and i want us to to pray with that intention let's come off mute and begin to pray in the holy ghost this is not the time to be quiet. If you can pray, get off mute and open your mouth and pray because this is the key. This is the very thing that the Lord is doing in this hour. Let's not take this moment for granted. Rakatali Brande Bashetelia Manante, Rekatele Brede Bashote, Ikarabashi Kanante, Rekasekete <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm <laughs> 
Amen. 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 And you see, here's the thing what this looks like when we bring, when we walk in that reality, you walk into places and they'll say, I don't know why, but I just like you. I don't know why I've just chosen to favor you. I don't know why, but these ideas that you bring, they are just so powerful. I want to invest in you. I don't know why, but these solutions that you bring, they are world changing. I don't know why, but every single time that you pray, you're pray you you pray for me god answers i don't know why see there's it's there's something that rests upon you when you begin to walk in that reality there's something so powerful there's something so powerful i'll give you a simple illustration you know back when i was doing nyc nigeria um like you know i worked in my dad's office and i remember this was the very short period of time that i worked in his office and i just remember like you know, going in there, I was acting it to be shy. You know, I was just like, I don't really know a lot of these people very well. And I just want to be like low key. But here's the thing. <laughs> there, there was no such thing as low key because to them, my father is the owner of the company. So when they wanted something done, they would come to me and say, oh, can you ask your dad? Oh, what do you think about this? Oh, they would, would come and ask me for permission to do certain things. These are people that were older than me. I was just a child. I was just a child, right? I was, what when I say I was just a child, maybe like, what, 21 or so? How, how old did we do youth service? I think it was 21. Why would somebody that is 50 something years old come and be asking me a 21 year old for permission to do something in a place they are employed in? It's not because I was anything. What was I doing there? I was just trying to buy time so I don't have to work in another place. But my point for sharing this is very simple. When you walk in the consciousness of your position should we work sons and daughters through christ jesus we are it's not even that we are sons of god it is a position that sonship we are royalty when you are a royal if you look at the diets that these people eat the royals right they eat the oh we can't hear you shade Shade, we can't hear you anymore. Hello, Shade, are you there? Sorry, Madam Lola, are you able to take um, just me and let us be praying? Okay, Madam Amy, you are there. Let's just continue to pray before we get back into the prayers. I'm just going to um, attempt to finish what uh, uh, Shade was sharing. The awareness of your position, the awareness of who you are. And many times, if you don't know, there are other people that know. And these are this can be people who who want you to be able to step into that for good. And this can be people who want to continue help you continue in ignorance so that they can continue to do what they are doing. So that they can continue the oppression that they've set up on your life. But for you to step into some realities in God, you have to know who you are. You have to know what you have. This thing that Shade started uh, sharing as the emphasis of our mountaintop, it's actually going to lead us into the um, prayers we're having for next month. It's gonna lead us into the prayers we're having for next month. So anyone who's here, you know, part of the King's Hour, please do not miss next month's prayers. Do not miss next month's monthly prayers. So much has been uh, going on in the spirit along these lines. And the next month that we're stepping into is going to be powerful. But I want us to uh, continue the prayer. Shade, if you're back and you can uh, take over, you can lead. I don't want to take the session from you. Okay, no no problem. Thank you for, for sharing even that Um bit of it sorry i lost connection um but what i was gonna just say for the next um the next stretch of prayers we're going to take is um you know when you are 
working in a certain reality there is a kind of diet that you you have to have and if you look at the athletes the world athletes the the real champions if you go and see what they are feasting on see what they are eating the royals of the world if you see their menu their diet all of these things it's not cheap food i always give that uh, um, illustration of the crow and the eagle and how the crow likes to attack the eagle and crows are just disgusting birds anyway but here's the thing the, the crows they eat trash they eat trash and the eagles they eat fresh fresh sushi fresh sashimi right and um, but here's the thing jokes aside it's important to understand this because for so long and this was something that holy spirit really highlighted to me recently because i found myself in this trap he said the knowledge of evil is not how you win you can know what you need to know about the devil's kingdom from now till next year it does not actually guarantee that you you overtake him he's an ancient being you cannot really know everything right but here's the thing when you know in this dream that i had this person was just the, the individual that was being brutalized just kept think, thinking about how powerful this person is how this thing can never change this and that and that and that but the thing is when they came to the realization of who they were in christ when they came to the realization that they actually had the power to overcome that was literally the deposit was already made but it was the realization that changed it but the truth of the matter is they were already feasting on on life they were feast already feasting on the glory of god that awareness came from somewhere so this is going to be the emphasis for the remaining stretch we're going to reposition our minds and say i want to focus on you i want more of your essence jesus i want more of your glory <clears throat> more of the more deposits more measures of you more measures of you i want to drink from that life giving fountain i am sick and tired of looking at which problem is arising where in my life and all of these different things yes we are not ignorant of the enemy's devices but the moment that becomes our focus we start to eat trash amongst the crows instead of mounting up and taking our place and taking our place as sons of god so we're going to do that right now and what we are simply asking for right now is that the holy spirit will deposit even more measures of himself in us that spirit of jesus christ the one that that carries the power to resurrect dead things to life the one that carries the power for favor the power for um, um, wisdom the power for prosperity the power for all kinds of manifestations of god glory on the earth we're going to now pray in that regard the holy spirit i want more measures of you i want to feast on your glory lord jesus i want to feast on your power i'm feasting today on your might i'm feasting today on your wisdom i'm feasting today on favor i'm feasting today on whatever you fill in the blank and say and say what it is i have i'm feasting on good health i'm feasting on a sound mind i'm feasting on your fruitfulness i'm feasting on everything that you have made available for me that diet that that specific diet that you have for me i've come to your presence today so that when the day of adversity comes because it will come that's what scripture says that we actually have that deposit in us so as we walk in the consciousness that we are not fake christians saying oh i'm you in jesus name but that deposit has not yet been made no 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 we are going to drink of the spirit of god today we are going to drink of the spirit of god today because that is how we are washed that is how we are filled that is how we walk in this manifestation of god's glory so let's come off mute right now and begin to drink of that life giving fountain drink of the life giving well in the name of jesus how can our bellies flow rivers of living water when there has been no deposit so right now we are going we are going to the bank of heaven and we are taking our deposit we are taking what is rightfully us that the blood of jesus has bought for even now as sons of god let's come off mute and begin to pray Rakatan, 
Thank 
Make sure you are praying this morning. We are already in the family altar. If you know what is on the agenda of heaven for us this morning, and the next you will not be quiet, no matter where you are, no matter what's going on with you right now. Go for the waters if you fail in the day of adversity, your strength is small. God forbid that I be found with strength that is too small on the day when it matters the most. 
Ragatania Sene, Anira Baida, Anira Baida, Balakindro Masilia, Rememem Bocotolia, Esambra Iva Sanaria Senema, Rapatania, Elende Dokos Patalia Sena, Aina Manda, Breket, Ketania. There is a place to be small, but it is not in the spirit. I even have a battalion, Secretary Asa, Amamba Baba Baka Daka. Rabba Daka Daka Taya, Rebecca, the Kippist, I know, have break it, break it, break out of your current and not in the spirit, break out of your current stress, oh, Massa, Aria, Aria, Baba, Tia, Nidi Baba Koneto, a regimented Shraba Madura Tabina Saina, Hanna Yabas Mohaya Benasa, Haraba Baba Baya, Haraga Baga Nadi Sani Dali Patwari Abo, Nebrosh Kopot Bekete, Nabi Uga Kamiya Sani Nagonde Sukhanish, Amba Naya 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 Naya, Hafsana Mana Ida Bala Kimya Sani Nasi, Ande Pras Mene Ben Dabda Kyan, Raba De Hine Dabda Kyan, Yada Tabda Kyan, I have made a decision for myself, on the day of battle, on the day of death, I will not be down. I will not to realize that this is what counts for you. Master, the other day, after you open your mouth and cry, and write a very strong it is my prayer that not one of us will choose to be left behind. Masukari Gataria, every Pepepidiana Sotona, Alabanda Kamia, second Rumani Betata, Hendira Mobe, Hendra Sipatania, Alambara Taira, Arabalaya Masipatania, Sotema, Alibena you need to migrate this morning to an altitude where the anti, where the mystic of the enemy does not get to. He never looked at the other, he never made the other, he never Today, there are many of you who might break. Say the dress for the six months of the Yasmaya Kashmir. For all the dresses that expired, for all the dresses that expired, in March, the day of 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 the day of
Father, like this, the sound of making the spirit is a It is a dangerous sound from us. 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 It is a dangerous we have prayed amen 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 i would say welcome to the family altar but the family altar started 15 minutes ago 16 minutes ago actually when we gather like this for the mom top session for the family altar we don't gather here so that we can congregate around the prayer points. We don't gather here so that we can punctuate our time in prayer with prayer points so that it flows, so that it's easy for us to manage the time. That's not the purpose of the Mount Up session. That's not the purpose of the prayer altar or the family altar. And so if you come to any of these sessions with the hope that someone will give you the prayer point so that <clears throat> you can be praying and then you stop after a couple of minutes, you have come to the wrong prayer meeting. The idea behind us mounting up in the spirit is to sit down before God and just pray. We don't need a prayer point. We don't need a prayer point to sit down and build spiritual strength. And it is easier when you do it amongst others. Because truth be told, many of us do not do that in our own spaces, in our own private time. So when we gather like this for the uh, family altar, for the mount up session, it is a time to build spiritual strength. You look at the flyer, that's what it says. If we come and we gather and we take prayer points, then good. But if there are no prayer points, that is the whole idea of us coming together, especially for the mount up session. We are not a small group. We are not a weak group. So we can't come. <clears throat> and when someone is leading the mount up, it's hard for us to, to throw ourselves into it. Because it's like we're waiting for the next prayer point to come. It's like we're waiting for the next charge to come. If you leave it for me, we will not have charges. We will just come here 45 minutes. Maybe take one, two short breaks and that's it. This is how you build strength. It's not in, the, in, the, in plenty words. It's not in plenty words. So let's just understand the purpose for our gathering these Thursdays. There, there may be other meetings that we put together. There may be other meetings we attend, but that is the reason we are gathered here. This is a time instituted by the Spirit of God. This is an appointment that He keeps with us. So if you come and you are not ready to mount, if you come and you are not ready to address things, then you may have joined the wrong meeting. I don't know why I feel the need to give that charge, but I feel that you have to realize where we are. Because let it not be that you are in a gathering of people who are walking away with their arms full of things and you walk away with nothing. You walk away helping people carry their own things to their car. God forbid, God forbid. So please, when we come like this to the Mount of Time, take it as your personal moment. Don't care about what anybody else is doing or saying. Take it as your time to climb high. 
climb high in the spirit. We're going to take a couple of prayer points this morning. Honestly, the way that, <laughs> that I would have preferred it was we don't even have the time for prayer points this morning. There is a massive work waiting for us in the first three days of March. There is a major shift that requires the strength of a people who are not small. There is a major shift that is supposed to happen in the lives of every one of us who is here. There is an appointment already set for it in the spirit and it is in the first three days of, uh, of March. So I share that so you understand why this session we're having this particular morning is important. If I take a couple of prayer points, then it's just maybe to give us, you know, uh, something to hold on to. But what you need right now for the next three days is the strength that it takes to shift what needs to be shifted in the next three days. And that's why I've had us stretch for a little bit in the Mount Up session. Instead of moving into prayer points, that's why I've had us stretch in this family altar window. There have been too many communications in the spirit about what is going on, where we are, what is the emphasis. And Shade's charge just basically uh, uh, confirmed that. So I'm sharing this to let you know that if you are part of the King's Arrow, or you're a visitor of King's Arrow and you come here just for a monthly, uh, a weekly Mount Up and Family Altar, there is a major work that the Spirit is doing in our midst in the next three days. A major shift has been scheduled for us. It will not be good for you to miss it. It will not be okay if you miss it. You try your best to be part of it. You try your best to be part of it. If you are part of this house, by default, your appointment date has been moved up. It doesn't matter when your, 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 your deliverance, doesn't matter when your break, it doesn't matter when your own case was scheduled. Even if your case was scheduled for 2025, even if your case was scheduled for the end of the year, by virtue of being part of this house, this is what the Lord has made possible, has made uh, available for us as a group. As long as you are on the umbrella of, uh, under the umbrella of King's Arrow, your appointment date has been moved up. So the first three days of March, please don't be anywhere else. It's going to be one hour each day. One hour each day. And that's why I said it takes a group of women who are not small. <clears throat> a group of women who are not small. So when we come tomorrow and when we come on the second and we come on the third, don't be surprised if we don't even have prayer points then either. Don't be surprised. I'm speaking to you based on what is on schedule for us. What Chade said, it had, for the last two weeks, I have, been, I have been in the midst of that. There are too many of us who have had our, 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 our items, who have had our, what belongs to us has been held up has been held up. That's why I said, if you will miss uh, uh, anything, please don't miss the prayers we're taking um, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. So that's why I said, I have a good mind for us to just spend this family altar this morning building the strength that we need to push, to push and to effect a shift tomorrow. The Spirit of God is already going to be there. He's already going to do it. We just need to come ready to partner with him. We just need to come ready to partner with him. Let me take a quick charge. And then we're going to go into prayers again. <clears throat> It'll probably be the only charge before the end of this session. But I want to set the tone. I want to basically help us understand what is ahead of us. And that's why as we prayed, I echoed what the spirit was saying within me. Eat. Mount build for the journey ahead is great it's not far it's just three days but it's great the magnitude of what is going to break open in your life after those three days it may be beyond what you are even able to use your mouth to explain to someone else it may be beyond what you're able to use your mouth to tell someone okay, this is what happened to me there are many of us that <clears throat> we're always ready to talk we're always ready to say what's going on with us there are things that god will do for you that even it will be too big for your mouth to utter that's what's scheduled for us in the next month. So I'll take a prayer. Because like Shade said, 
I have seen over the last two weeks a people who have been left out of their allocation and not because God did not intervene, not because God did not step in, but because there's what they didn't know. There are things they didn't know. Things about who they are. Things about who God is. Things about what God has done. And I have seen over and over and over and over. And this is what's going on with many of us. Many of us are here and the prayer points, if we can admit, are not new prayer points. They are not new prayer points. They are the same prayer points we've been taking from God knows how long. And the Spirit of God showed me that many of these prayer points, they have been, they have expired. They've moved it out of circulation. Because left to them, these are treated files. These are files that have been treated and concluded. And the, the resources assigned to them have actually even moved somewhere else. This is what we're dealing with. A backlog. A backlog. Prayers that have been made, answers released, the recipients have not taken hold of them. And this is what we're going to address in the next three days. And by the hand of God, not a single person who comes there will go back unattended to in Jesus' name. Now, I want to just give this brief charge before we go into the prayers for this morning. And it's going to basically set us up and set the tone for the prayers we're taking in the next three days. I'm going to read from Mark chapter 4. <clears throat> And verse 35, it says, And the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the sheep. And there were also with him other little sheep. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the sheep so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the sheep, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, hearest thou not that we perish? Hmm. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great mob. Let me explain what the Holy Spirit um, has been talking to me about as far as this is concerned. There are many of us who, based on what we have just seen, should long since have been on the other side. On the on that other side of whatever challenge, on the other side of whatever issue, on the other side of whatever it is that we're dealing with. There are many of us who should have been on the other side already. Whether on the other side of, uh, of a health situation, on the other side of a financial situation, on the other side of whatever it is, there are many of us who are in that position. But one way or another, the enemy has introduced a storm into your life. A storm that has taken your entire attention. A storm that has made it such that you cannot even focus on getting to the other side. Some of us have spent so long in that storm that it has begun to feel comfortable. So we've made our bed on it. And this is why I always say this thing because in the body of Christ, there are too many of us who are in this situation where a storm is looking you in the eye and you keep telling yourself that you are in, in God's process, that you are in the wilderness. Meanwhile, God is not even in that wilderness. Nobody is in the wilderness with you. That's not even a wilderness. You are in the eye of a storm. And it's what stands between you and getting to the other side. But the storm has not been addressed. The storm has not been confronted. The storm seems to be overpowering you. It seems to have a louder voice than you. Whereas your other side is just there. You can almost see it. You can almost touch it. You can almost taste it. For many of us, it's even so bad that it's like we will come close only for that same wind to blow you back into the middle of the ocean. Back in the eye of the storm. These are the kind of people that the Holy Spirit is coming for in the next three days. These are the kind of people that the Holy Spirit is coming to keep an appointment with in the next three days. So that's why I want us to pray. Because yes, when we take the prayers next month, we're going to be focusing on receiving. That's, that's where we're going to be focusing. We're going to be focusing on receiving. 
pulling down the things that belong to us. But you see, right now, even if something was available for you, as long as you are still in the middle of that ocean, as long as you are still in the eye of that storm, there's no way you're laying hold of it. There's no way you're laying hold of it. And the problem, like I said, is getting comfortable in the storm and not addressing it for what it is. So no, this is not a wilderness. This is not God's process. This is a storm. This is a storm. And you better get up, wake up and address it accordingly. Just like Jesus. He woke up, he didn't spend any time chatting with that storm. He didn't pamper that storm. He didn't make it, he didn't give it a space. Like, okay, you just stay here. If you can just occupy this place, we should be able to, 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 to stay here together. No, he didn't make room for it. He didn't say, okay, you know what? If you can just reduce it, no. He canceled the whole thing right there and then. So that is what I want us to do this morning. Basically setting us up for what we're going to do in the next um, three days. Because like Jesus, who went to the other side, that's what he needed to get done there. That's what he needed to lay hold of there. He had a mighty evangelist that God had assigned to him for his ministry waiting on the other side and he was being held back by a storm i don't know what's waiting for you on the other side of that storm that you are in right now but you will have to get brutal you have to get <laughs> you will have to get upset and address it the way that it should be don't pamper it don't make room for it don't pretty it up don't put accessories on it and make it look nice it's a storm and that's what it is so this morning in the next few minutes that we have we're going to pray. And the focus of our prayer is that we're going to be speaking to every contrary situation. Listen, the one that you know is a storm, the one that you are not sure, you are thinking, maybe this is a storm, or maybe it's still pack everything. Pack everything into there. Let God separate the ones that is your process and the one that is a storm. Everything, put it in there. Everything that is standing between you and where you should be in life. Everything that is standing and posing a discomfort for you. Don't separate them now and be like, okay, well, I, at least I know this one is, is God has me in my process. Look, anyway, let me uh, not go down that road. There are people who have missed their season because they assumed that they were in a process. A process God did not even start. God is not even aware of it. God is not aware of it. Satan has packaged you and put you in the wrong location and you think that that's where God puts you. No. So whether it's the one that you know is your process, the one that you are not sure, the one that you think is just pack everything and put it inside here this morning. God is able to separate. You just don't worry about that. Let him do that. But whatever it is that you are dealing with, we are going to address it because if we're going to receive things tomorrow, we must have addressed whatever is standing between us and those things. Like I said, these things have been released. These things have been approved. And then we're still standing without them, outside of their reality. So we're going to open our mouth and we're going to pray. The next 10, however many minutes, that's what we're going to be doing. We need the strength. I'm telling you, this is, oh boy, we're going to have to do this work as a group. We're going to have to do this work as a group. So I don't want anybody to be quiet this morning. The prayer is simple. Peace, be still. Tell every one of those situations to shut up be quiet and shut down however long it has stayed whatever it may look like be quiet and shut down that is the prayer this morning so let's open our mouths and pray if you don't have storms in your life to pray about then please lend your voice to intercede for other people let's open our mouths and pray zila kandre baba sis gamelia cobra nava sata bari kamonde asete liria maska braka degete velambro ovenas kaminda raka bebe telia zupa la datama rabakanda filemende sopra diga silia nos kinande ishkanda brike pelia nusa pala 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 nusa pala
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to hand over to the prophetic team shortly, but I want you to understand what you're contending for. Because just yesterday or the day before yesterday, the Lord showed me again that there are many of us that Satan has designed an alternate reality and handed it to us. There is reality that is in God's file and there's the one that Satan has tried to intercept us with. He has tried to infiltrate our space and hand it to us. And so what that looks like is Satan giving you a completely different path, a completely different space in life to occupy. Meanwhile, there's an allocation God made for you. There's a space God created for you and put your name in it. This is why we fight. This is why we contend. So maybe before you came here, you were okay with whatever life gave to you. You were okay with whatever was made available for you. That's not who we are here. We insist on our portion. We insist on what belongs to us. So whatever script you've been running off in your life, because that's what Satan had slipped into your reality. That's what Satan had handed to you. And it looked okay for you to just take it. That's what we're addressing and contending for even right now. We're saying no more. We're saying no more. We're speaking to every lie in our reality, every lie in our circumstance. And we're saying, shut up and come out of there. Everything in your life that is speaking a lie, that is not speaking of God. We're saying, be quiet, come out of that situation. So please, the next three days, I beg you not to miss it. I beg you not to miss it. I don't sit and and, and compare notes with Shade. I don't. I sit down, I watch for what the Spirit of God is saying. And I'm pretty sure that she does the same. And so if I'm telling you that this is what the Spirit of God has been showing me so loudly in the last couple of weeks and then she comes and says the same thing understand that the time of our appointment has come the time of our appointment has come it's not the day when they finally call you to show up for that appointment that you decide that you're tired it's not that day that you decide you do you just want to rest a little bit many of us here we are nigerians and we live in nigeria we know what it's like to apply to the u.s embassy And then they give us a date. Many of us can admit that it doesn't matter what's going on with us on the day that the U.S. Embassy says we should come for interview. Even if it's a a malaria from the pit of hell, we will carry ourselves there that way. Because it's that important. What level of importance will you place on an appointment that heaven has set for you? God forbid that we be people who value an appointment with a minister uh you know in the government's offices value an appointment with the u.s embassy above an appointment with the spirit of god i've shared as you know it has been given to me to to share with you all i can do is encourage you that as much as is within you make plans to be present make plans to be present as we take the prayers this next three days god bless you